We gotta get out. No. We gotta get out the bed. Right. We gotta get up. We gotta rise. We gotta start the day. <laughs> Y'all just had this motherfucker wake up every goddamn day for nine years. <sighs> What's up y'all welcome back to our channel as you can see we're just getting up we got the second morning usually you're more of a morning person than me she's just not feeling it this morning y'all to be honest i ain't feeling it either i don't want to go back to sleep i'm not I'm really not a morning person i prefer to just wake up when I wake up, you know, because I feel like that's when I'm supposed to be up. <laughs> Get up. Today's, today's pretty busy. What do you say? We got a lot of stuff to do today. A lot of things we have to get done, prepare for, and just be ready for. I went to bed late last night. That's another mm -hmm. thing too. I don't like to wake up and I go to bed late. I don't want my feet out of bed. Well, I'm laying down. Everybody know I got a neck? See this neck? I know you got a neck. You be giving me that neck, gave me that neck the other night. <laughs> I gave you something else the other day. Uh uh, girl, get up. <laughs> Grand rising. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed to our channel. We appreciate the love, the support. Let's just take like 20 more minutes. No, baby, we gotta get up. We have to work out, get our day started before we get to the work, before we get to the nitty gritty. Yo, I know y'all been probably like, man, she don't even paint no more. She don't even create no more. That's not true. It's just I can't show what I'm working on as much as I used to. Before, I used to be working on like a lot of shit that I could show y'all, but I can't now, because for one, a lot of the stuff is for my art show, and more details on that later, and a lot of other stuff is for, like, partnerships and brand deals with stuff, with yeah. with, with dope-ass companies and, and organizations that contractually we can't share, so we're working, and also commissions that are surprises, so we can't work and show you that yet, but... Just know we working. We working. <laughs> Y'all will see what's happening later. And on top of that, we just started this new channel. So <laughs> you know, our workload is pretty full. It really, really is. Like, But, you know, we make it work. We use this. We got this. We got this for y'all. We got know? this. Let's go. Mm, give me some motivating. But you got up so fast. You motivated me. Get up. <laughs> I thought we were going to cuddle a little more. If I stay in this bed, I'm gonna go to sleep. If I cuddle you, I'm gonna go to sleep. All right, let's get up. So, I'm gonna pull out all the vitamins. We're gonna show y'all what vitamins we take, what our skincare regimen is. It's, like she said, it's very, very important that we um, make sure that you're not just trying to solve your face issues, like once you see the face issues. You need to make sure that you're like internally, you good. Um, a lot of my issues was because I was vitam vitamin deficient. Um, which caused a lot of inflammation in my skin, in my body, in my face, in my, um, everywhere, shit. And, you know, inflammation causes weight gain and a whole bunch of other issues, so. Yeah, and like, you know, when, you know, not, you know, talking down on, you know, what other people eat, but I was, I know for us, like, you know, eating the dairy, the meat, it just... It's just we didn't agree. No, yeah, we're definitely dairy free. We ain't gonna lie to y'all. Be like, oh, we just come with beautiful skin. Alright, so Alright, so um Rinse your face with cold water. Yes, that's anti-aging, anti-wrinkle. It it takes a minute. 
but you can do it. Come on, rinse for you. Yeah. I'm gonna get you. Okay. It's cold. Yeah, yes, it's cold. I'm very gentle with my face. I usually do my face and my neck. So I do the same thing, but I like to use the yeah we love the really sensitive part. skin. Um, I think it's really like vegan. Don't say the word because you know you shut the fuck up. Silicolic. Uh uh. Silicolic. They can read. Y'all can read. That's, That's important. important. And that gives you the glows. It's um for me. It works best for me. And your facial wash. <laughs> this is what I use in the morning. I just use a hydrating gentle face cleanser. Yeah. We're gonna need some sponsors. <laughs> Giving all this. Good, good stuff all right i usually only use this much this is all i need for my face and i only use the three fingers my three little fingers, <laughs> How many fingers? my three little fingers <laughs> What you use for your toner? I use this Derma E Radiance toner. No, you can see that it was blurry. I don't want to keep. Flipping. We'll just give y'all a screenshot of like everything afterwards. And I use something from my esthetician. So if you can, go ahead and start seeing an esthetician if needed. She gives me peels and stuff, and she's really recovered my skin. Like I still have some scarring. I don't know if you can see some acne scarring that like in the right light you can really see it but they're fading so well because I'm such a stickler with my regimen so I'm very happy y'all when I had my acne breakout it was really hard for me mentally so then I use my Bichon Mist I like you said we'll put all the products in the description but or screenshot but this is my little Bichon Mix I put on Next, I'm putting you on my Dr. Dennis under eye serum. You're not gonna let your face dry? Or my face is dry. Yeah, damn. <laughs> and I use my ring finger to. Yes, you have to be very gentle under on your eye eyes. bags. And I just bring it all the way out to the edge. Then I do my Dr. Dennis. Vitamin C is very important for black skin. It's actually important for all skin, but a lot of black women and men don't know that. My esthetician Literally. taught us that. Life changer. Yeah. If your products don't have, or some of your facial products don't have some form of vitamin C in it, you are slipping. So I did a toner, I did my under eye serum, I did my mist, and then I did my face serum. Then the next step, sometimes I switch up my daytime routine, it just depends, but. I know we have like different yeah. things for different, for different ways. Like she, like I'll use my moisturizer next. I'm about to work out. I'm doing a, extra, a little bit extra vitamin C. This is by Andalou Naturals Probiotic Plus C. Cream, so. And I like Super Aqua by Misha. And this has hyaluronic acid in it, which is great for my skin. And, but you're supposed to wait till the serum dries. It is dry, I think. What, what do you have, super absorbent skin? I need a minute. My, my skin like to take her time. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're that.
Now we about to get to the most important part, in my opinion. Yeah. A lot of times we didn't grow up as as darker skinned humans or lighter skinned humans, black people. Um, we didn't grow up with like people telling us all the time that we should wear this very, very important next piece of the puzzle. If you are not wearing sunscreen, at least in my opinion, of SPF of 40 or above, and also reapplying if possible throughout the day after a couple of hours or if you sweat it or whatever. Yeah. This, you wear some sunscreen, please, because think about it like this. This is how my esthetician told me. She was like, when you go in the sun, it gets you, you get a tan, right? And I usually do the two finger rule. So you're supposed to use, use quite a bit. But um, she was like, when you go in the sun, you tan, right? I was like, yeah, of course, I tan. And she was like, well, what do you think happens to your dark spots? They get darker too. And it's like, ding, a, a light went off. And ever since I faded my dark spots uh, with sunscreen, another major, major benefit to wearing sunscreen is that even though our skin absorbs the sun rays, shout out Melody, um, I still want to have an anti-aging anti agent on my skin. So this keeps you looking young. And one thing I love about the sunscreen, it does not leave a white cast. Mm -hmm. And one important ingredient our physician told us to make sure your sunscreen have is zinc. Zinc, 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 zinc. And we're gonna get to the vitamins next. Yeah. Um, uh, that's our face surgery. After you put the sunscreen on, you're done. Yep. be for a minute but yeah I make my own oil it has been really growing my hair can you get a brush too um every morning and every night I, I oil my scalp and brush my locks and this oil I had to make myself because my skin like before is really really sensitive and if oils go into my pores, it could clog my pores. Certain oils can clog my pores. So I, I'm a researcher, so I, I study like what is the best, I don't know how to really say this, non-comodogenic maybe, which is, means non-skin, non-skin pore clogging. So if this drips into my face, it won't damage my skin. And if you're interested in knowing what oils I use and you got locks or hair that uses oils, let me know. Oil my little locks. Saute them bees. I'm gonna twist them hard so you can absorb in. And then I add a little distilled water in my spray conditioner. Healthy hair, healthy skin, healthy body. That's what we're striving for. Um, this just makes sure all debris out of my locks. I hate lint or we have a husky and she sheds. We have a down comforter and it's feathers everywhere. And if you have locks like me, debris and shit can try to lock into your hair. And you just gotta softly, gently lock them. Plus they thicken them up. Keep some health being vigorous. vigorous. So, in addition to the vitamins that you know we have over there, for my sinuses, I take uh, cat's claw, and cat's claw is good for um, what is this good for? Oh, cat's claw is good for bacterial infection, so it's a defense for that. Bromelain, which is what I take as well, is good for 
sinus congestion and elderberry, it, it breaks up the mucus. So I take these in addition to all of those over there. Okay, and for me, vitamin C. Take this too, yeah. Probiotic for your tummy, it helps you digest shit. Iron, cause in, got anemia. Um, vitamin D. Vitamin black folk, D. black folk, people of color. If you don't have a regimen that has vitamin D in your diet, we are sun absorbing people. We need vitamin D in our life. Unfortunately, we do not live out in the sun um, as we once did genetically. Um, we work, we, we're in our cars, we're in our house, and you gotta make sure you to put that. It's great for your skin, it's great for everything. And you cannot take vitamin D without taking magnesium. And this one in specific, this magnesium specifically, glyc glycinate, my sickness. Magnesium glycinate, it helps absorb vitamin D. And you can look this all up, y'all. I'm a researcher. Yeah. This, this was all like, yeah, we take magnesium at night too. It helps. Uh, helps helps you sleep. sleep. It helps with a lot of shit. It helps with your asthma. Yeah. Um, black seed oil, good for skin and hair and your immu immune system. Uh, vitamin E, you know what that's good for. Yeah. And these are huge horse ass pills. It's ridiculous. Um, two more things. We take an omega. Yep. Uh, fatty acid and zinc pills. Again, is really big. Yes. We also take vitamin A, which I think we were in. Oh, and it has it. Yeah, it hasn't been uh, delivered yet. But vitamin A. I think I have some extra ones. And we also are. We're also getting ready to introduce some more uh, B vitamins into our regimen as well. So these are all. I had some vitamin. Oh, never mind. These are all. Get into it. God damn it. <laughs> what you put in your body is very important. Don't you say it. Remember that. That's pretty much, That's pretty much our vitamins. Pretty much it. You I take all this with food, though. I do not take any of these vitamins unless I eat something. So now I'm about to make me some lime water and about to make us a smoothie before we go to the gym. Yeah, we drink lime water in the morning. It's very alkaline. It helps set the tone for your digestive system that day. Yeah. It helps you better digest your food. And like we say, if you want a better body and a better health, like feeling, you have to learn to eat more alkaline. We yes. are eating we're way too much. We're, 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 we, <laughs> we, eat, we eat way too much acidic foods and it causes a lot of issues and diseases and illnesses. Yeah, so let's go make lime water in the smoothie show. I have to make my mom order my beautiful queen mug because I am queen. Cut up my limes. Use my little lime squeezer. Okay, now I got my little, like I can see it, my little lime juice at the bottom. Burn. This was already warm, so it cooled, so. What is this? And then to top it off, I usually take just a lime that I already squeeze. And I put it on top. And then yeah, so I drink this whole cup and then I have to wait 30 minutes before I eat something. So I have to wait 30 minutes after I drink this before I eat my smoothie. And I also speak healing into my water too. That's important. Speak healing, speak all positive things into anything that you ingest or put in your body. All right, so once I finish my lime water, um, I make our smoothies. So in our smoothies, I use water, I don't use milk. Good old sea moss. Add sea moss to the bottom. I usually do like two spoonfuls. Also use protein. We use garden, 
Garden of Life Sport. Just a cup of that in there. Then I take that same spoon, get a piece of avocado. It's a good, avocado is a good healthy fat. Oats, because sometimes, like I said, when you're just not hungry before you have to work out, this is pretty much the same thing as like eating it. So I put just a little bit of oats. Got to pack it with protein so that you can have a good workout. Hip seeds. I use a little hemp seeds as well, not too much. A Bay Blackster smoothie with strawberries and blueberries. I like mine with strawberries and bananas, but frozen strawberries and blueberries. And yeah, sometimes I top it off with a little agave. And then yeah, now it's time to blend. Okay. I usually, I have a Nutribullet, but for some reason I don't know where I put it since the last time I used it, so for the sake of this video, gotta have it back up. And so this is Babe Smoothie. It hasn't been 30 minutes yet for me, so I can't drink mine, but I'm about to bring this to her. Somebody's mowing their lawn, but thanks so much for watching our morning routine. Yeah. We're gonna finish our reading and journaling, and then we're gonna head to the gym. Um, and then work on our schedule today. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or suggestions that you may add. Yep, comment down below. We want to know. We want to hear from y'all. We appreciate you for watching. And yeah, until the next time, y'all, we dropping videos. We got you. See y'all later.